Hello everybody and welcome back to the Snapless channel. Now today I'm bringing you a very interesting Snapchat video. It is still Snapchat themed, but it's a different type of camera. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Carl Lightning and I help you guys out in the Snapchat community make the most of the Snapchat application. But today we're actually going to be springing off into a different product that Snapchat have made. Now we're not talking about the spectacles, this is a camera that is manufactured by Snapchat. However, this is not the camera we're going to be talking about today. The actual camera we're going to be talking about is available to be downloaded as a webcam. Now today's video, I didn't plan it to be like this. I actually wanted to involve someone who does live streaming for a living on the channel. But because of something that's happened, and this is the year 2020, I don't know whether this video is actually gonna age well, but there's a, a big virus outbreak called the coronavirus, which has actually stopped well, pretty much everything today I'm filming on my own. You can see here, no cameraman. Liam is not here to be seen. So I'm actually doing this video on my own. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is because a lot of people now are doing online conferencing. I'm gonna say probably about 70% the company I also work for have gone all online. So if you wanna spice up your online conferencing, this is probably the answer to your question. Now, in terms of downloading the Snap Camera, all you've got to do is go over to snapcamera.snapchat.com and find the download button on that site. Now, this is also available for Windows and Mac, so you're not going to be left out. You can install this very easily. Once you've pressed download, pop your email address in, you'll then get the installer. Run through the very quick installation and you'll find Snap Camera is installed on your computer. Once you boot the software up, you have a little guided tour around the Snap Camera telling you how easy it is and what you can apply it to. Three steps, once you've completed those, click finish and hey look, it's the Snap Camera. This is the Snap Camera and of course it's developed by Snapchat and you can see all those lovely Snapchat lenses across the top there. There are tons on this software which makes it so fun. You can go from the standard dog and you just literally click onto a lens and now I have that dog lens that you probably knew about when Snapchat started doing lenses. And there's also stuff on here like the renowned My Twin, which uh, if it wants to load in, will give me the, the girl hair. There you go, see, so you can see the female version of me. And there's also stuff by other creators. You've got one of Cyrene's masterpieces, and this is the toilet, I'm gonna to say toilet paper hat. Very nice with some physics on the loo roll there. It's a nice one there, Cyrene. Now one of the features of the Snap Camera is the ability to take photographs or even take videos straight out the webcam using the Snap Camera software. And these are done by these two buttons over on the left. I'm gonna hit record video. And now this is actually being recorded using the Snap Camera software. And if I wanted to, I could now apply the same lens as before or have a look around the categories. We've got some uh, win from home. These will definitely uh, make your meetings entertainment. We'll start off with the vacation one. So if you're not going to get a vacation this, this year, at least you can have a snap lens that does some segmentation. Not sure what's going on over here, but it should crop me out and just replace the background. I like the glasses on this one as well. You've also got the blue click pen, one of my favorite lenses. And Phil Walton, who created this, knows it should be called Mr. Clicky. But uh, yes, this is a nice uh, lens here. Pen's going a bit wobbly on the camera. You should try this one out on the actual Snapchat application. It's it's an absolute godsend. Another one of Cyrene's. We've got the, the pizza and her little... little emoji, I don't know what she calls that, a little character on top. Um, this one's, I think she did for pizza day. We've also got one here from Ben that sort of makes you an electrical line. Some very talented lens creators, let's put it this way. Uh, another one I've seen is the microwave where the pizza is cooking and well look, I'm over here having a nice time waiting for my pizza. Um, you can also favorite them. Some of these have got stars on, as you can see. And essentially what I've done is built up a favorites list. So again, if you were streaming and wanted to come back to a very popular lens, let's say the computer head lens, you can see here that uh, I can just jump straight to it without using the search feature. What I do like about it is you don't have to be an official lens creator to actually be accepted onto the snap camera. Uh, you can see some of mine here, so this one. This almost because the Love Island, something's going on with the segmentation, but um, this is the, the Love Island lens I made for the their promo. Uh, what else have we got from mine? Obviously one of my biggest ones, which is Hammerhead. So if you want to be that hammer. Or probably my most detailed one in my eyes, which is uh, Party in Ibiza. So the attention to detail that I made on this lens was uh, definitely one of the funnest projects. You've got moving lights, the glasses, they all fade and... And obviously at the top there you can see my disco lights are moving. So you can apply pretty much any lens that is on Snapchat. Some of them don't work. I'm trying to find one that, 
that doesn't work very well. I don't think I have one off the top of my head. Let's see what Phil's Mr. Pickle Me looks like. Guaranteed to be an absolute yes. This one is just perfect. So, but obviously test them out before going out and build yourself a roster of favorite lenses from lens creators to your own to even, like I said, some of the Snapchat basic ones. Um, and of course, like I said, we've been filming this so I can hit stop and then it's gonna ask me if I want to save it and you can then share this with friends. The one thing I found with these videos is it will stamp saying it is filmed with this software. I'm not sure if Snapchat are gonna update that and allow you to not pay to have it removed, but turn it off because there are some really good stuff you can do with this and maybe some potential funny sketches. But of course, they do wanna make sure that no one takes royalties over people's work, especially the lens creators as well, because there's a lot of work that goes into those. If you find a lens on the Lens Studio website from a creator that you love, you can of course copy their lens ID, pop back into the snap camera and paste it into the search and you'll see that I get the no face lens from Nicholas Dominici. So if you are looking for a specific lens, obviously use the search feature as well. Obviously it does take a while to load them because there are quite a few, but of course you can copy the lens ID and then after it does search, it will find them in a while. But remember, if you do find them and they're hard to find again, just add them to your favorites. So I've got one here from a Ram. So I can have this one if I wanted to. I've got Nick's long nose one, which is a very popular lens on TikTok. If of course the webcam on your laptop is not high enough quality or you just want to improve it, you can of course plug a USB and as long as it can be installed on your computer, the webcam can be used. So I think that's everything that we've got about the snap camera. Don't forget to use the search feature and the categories that have pre-made Snapchat lenses already in there for you to try out because they're a good start if you don't know where to go with some of the lenses on this software. I'm going to continue the video in the normal outro so we'll get the setup back to how it is. So that is the Snap Camera software. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's definitely something you should download. Remember, you can get it off the Snap Camera website. Click that download button and it will then start the installation. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and try and make the most out of this software because it's definitely something you should download because of course it's free. And there are tons of Snapchat lenses that you can use. And even if you want to join in in the fun, you can download Lens Studio, which is the lens making software. Again, another software that's free from Snapchat that you can learn and make some lenses. We've made some videos on that so if you wanted to go check those out you can and of course if you're new around here you can subscribe today and if you did like today's video then leave us a like it's a little bit different to how we normally done it we've gone for a bit more fun a bit more vlog and a bit more handheld in today's content because I don't have my dedicated cameraman with me but the content is still fun and I hope you've enjoyed today's snapchat theme video and we'll catch you in the next video <laughs>